What's going on everybody? Landon here with Late Model Restoration. Here recently, we showed all of you guys how to install a camshaft, cylinder heads, and their components into your 302 or 351 base Mustang. Of course, with any cam, head, or valve train install, it is extremely important to always check and make sure you have the correct link push rod. Today, we're gonna show you a general procedure on checking for proper push rod link. Checking push rod length is extremely important when building an engine. If this step is overlooked and is taken for granted, serious damage can occur to your valve train components. Things you'll need before checking push rod length is obviously your short block, cylinder head, head gasket, roller rockers, and a dog bone or lifter retainer. Throw in our special push rod link checking lifters, digital or dial caliper, and a push rod link checking tool, which we offer variants from trick flow and comp cams. So follow along guys as we walk you through the steps on checking for proper pushrod link in your 302 or 351 pushrod Mustang. Install the lifters into the engine block with the holes facing up and toward the center of the engine. Position one of the lifter retainers between the lifters in their marked orientation. These are also referred to as dog bones. Position your head gasket and cylinder head. Whatever cylinder you're working on, snug down the four cylinder head bolts or studs surrounding that particular cylinder or whichever method you prefer to hold down the head while you turn the engine over. Grab your trick flow push rod link checking tool and remove the two stop nuts. Screw the two ends back together and set the push rod link tool to the factory length of six and 272 thousandths inches. Color the top of the valve with a permanent marker or paint pen. Position one roller rocker onto the guide plate and push rod link tool. Tighten your roller rocker set screw to zero lash. Zero lash is achieved when you can just barely turn the push rod with your hands. Make two full rotations and return the keyway on the crank to the 12 o'clock position. Notice the valve tip sweep from the roller on the rocker arm. Grab your caliper and measure the width of the valve tip sweep. The ideal width for a street application is 80 thousandths. However, 70 to 95 thousandths is allowable. If for some reason you are not within the allowable numbers, Contact your local machine shop to help you purchase the correct link push rods for your application. Again guys, I cannot stress enough how important this step is when assembling your engine. Never take it for granted and always, always check for proper push rod lean. If you want to see more knowledgeable videos like this one, then you have to subscribe to our YouTube channel. And don't forget to pick up a push rod link checking kit for your engine build at latemodelrestoration.com.